Hello guys, this is Leonidas GFX and welcome to another tutorial. And since I ju I've just hit 4k subscribers, which is awesome, thank you so much to everyone that subscribed to me, uh, I decided to do another tutorial and well, I'm gonna do the most requested one and the one I think which will help you most to improve your Blender only intros. Um, the tutorial on, on how to sync your shake in Blender. And instead of borrowing, um, talking, I'm just gonna jump straight into it. So the, so the method uh, that I'm using um, since a few months, actually since nearly a year or now, um, is keyframing the rotation of the camera and there will there'll be another method um, which I'll show you in another tutorial um, if this tutorial hits um, let's say a hundred likes and I just added an empty this will be our shake object I'm gonna insert rotation keyframes just so I can add a noise modifier Let's take some of this point six. Copy it, paste it, change the face and make it a bit more and here are the same. Then we have it shaking. And yeah this by the way the scene the quick scene setup. So I've already added some sync but it looks boring and yeah um, a bit of some shake would be nice. So I use the child of constraint which is basically, basically parenting the um, shake object to our camera, remove the location and the scale and now we have our camera shaking. To make it look a bit better, I'm gonna clear the parent to the cam control thingy and add another child off um, and parent it with this to the cam control and make sure the child off of the cam control is on the bottom. And the good thing about this um, constraint is that there's an influence and you can just keyframe this. I'm gonna do this right now. Um, I usually to use two keyframes to build up the shake. And then I go into the graph editor. Set this to linear, set this to quadratic or sinusoidal, whatever, I don't know how to pronounce it and is out of course and now you can copy and paste it to the other keyframes and yeah of course you should um, try to use your own settings so it might be different if you want to make it look good in a different intro and yeah that's it <laughs> Well, at this point I think I'm gonna increase this a little bit and maybe this too so it shakes a bit more at those this double kick Check this out. And if we select the keyframes, the top part and set it to let's say quadratic or even cubic, the shake will become less uh, way faster than before. Check 
the show. But I think I'm leave it with the, the sinusoidal. So why do I don't know? Ah, <laughs> uh, yeah. Well, that's the first method, and that's it for this tutorial. And try to get a hundred likes. I'm gonna make the first one of those and let's get those hundred likes on this tutorial and I'll make the second one which is doing the same but doing the shake in the note editor the compositing which I never use but it might come in handy especially if you didn't render the 3d part yourself as an example if you want to do an after effects contest entry in blender which will probably fail but that's it for this tutorial bye for now